waiting patiently to be fed. It's like when you shake the, uh, the bag of dog, the dog treats and dogs come running. <laughs> We're all just outside waiting. Just had the cops come around and tell this woman off staying over here as well. Because there was about five seconds in between her taking a cup of, a sip of her cup of tea and she took her face mask down. Cops came around literally on the dot and just pulled her up for it and she said, well, I'm drinking my tea and they said, well, not right now, you're not, put your face mask on. So, um, it's a bit intense. <laughs> That right there is the new normal for many law-abiding citizens in Australia that are literally conditioned to be afraid of authority figures that sometimes supply them with rations of food in an Australian gulag. Sorry, sorry. In an Australian health hotel government Whatever the frick they're calling it. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. This is the Gradesk. We are change.org. Lots of absolute nonsense and hooey out there. As, of course, the people of the United States are just constantly being fed fake news and propaganda. And whether it's MSNBC or Rolling Stone, what they're doing is extremely dangerous as they are literally fabricating fake news, disinformation, psychological warfare against the American people in the worst of ways. We're going to be exposing that plus a lot more in this video. But before we do that plus a lot more, we wanted to remind you that there have been protests in New York City, Hawaii, Las Vegas, Switzerland, Ireland, Berlin, Scotland, Montreal, Canada, Belgium, London, Toronto, of course, Paris, France, and even Australia itself. And as we're speaking right now, there's an absolutely significant one happening right now in Amsterdam. All of these protests against, of course, Big Brother Police State Domestic Draconian Permission Slip Passport Systems that governments are implementing all around the world, almost in unison. Now, why am I telling you about these huge events with so many people coming out of them, these news-related events that sadly don't get talked about on the news that much? Well... No reason. No reason at all. Now, jumping into our first story, we got some very interesting news from the Biden administration that is set to declassify government documents that should have never been classified in the first place, and that is related to the FBI's investigation into what happened in New York City in 2001. It's curious to see this executive order being signed by Joe Biden, which will reveal very important information to the American people within the next six months. We, of course, will be keeping a very close eye on that. Also, in other surprising news today, we got the announcement from Apple that they are, for now, stopping the rollout of their draconian plan to scan all photos on all iPhones, a plan which would allegedly report images of children being hurt to the authorities. A lot of people called this plan absolutely troubling for people's personal privacy and personal freedoms. As of course, historically, powerful entities always pretend to be doing the right thing when taking away people's privacy, while of course providing neither privacy or that thing that was usually promised. And you know, a lot of people are skeptical of the authorities having the ability to look for any image on any iPhone and an excuse to allegedly care about children, since of course, we know that the federal authorities for over 30 years in many instances, chose to deliberately look the other way or participate in a 30-year international trafficking operation that has led to thousands of children being harmed in unspeakable ways, all under the eyes of local police departments, prosecutors, judges, the FBI, celebrities, tech entrepreneurs, richest people in the world like Bill Gates, presidents, and of course, other luminaries in our society that actively participated in it. All of course, which is orchestrated by individuals like Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell, which very interestingly, also in more surprising news, we're getting the announcement that a judge in the Ghislaine Maxwell case that is ongoing right now just ordered the federal government to, dis to disclose 
the identities of Ghislaine Maxwell's accomplices here. The federal government has until October 11th to hand over this information, which uh, is going to be interesting to look at. Now, if the government is not actively aiding and abetting some of the worst human atrocities against children for over 30 years in an international trafficking and extortion ring, they're also taking your money and fighting the alleged global war of terror, which cost the American people $6.4 trillion and the lives of 801,000 individuals in this world. This is according to new estimates from Brown University. A huge toll, a huge loss of life, which was facilitated by some of the worst criminal elements within our government that not only wasted our money, but wrecked havoc on this world, all as the mainstream media was cheering them on as the alleged good guys. And they weren't. Now, now this news and, and a lot of other related news is why a lot of people are looking for other countries to go to to be able to have more of a free, conscionable kind of existence. And one of the organizations helping people find second residencies, alternative lifestyles through expatting is, of course, Relocate Safe. Dot com. They're going to be doing a very important conference called this September 7th, which you could join in on for free as they're building a new community on Bitcoin Beach in El Salvador. If you remember, El Salvador just made Bitcoin legal tender in its country. A lot of people are moving there. If you're interested in moving there or even just having a vacation home there, a place with no property tax, no capital gains tax, a place with great weather. If you're interested in El Salvador, you will want to, of course, register for this conference call. It is free. The company also accepts gold, silver, cryptocurrencies, you name it. A lot of possibilities here worth hearing out. I'm going to listen to this myself. And if you're interested in this, go to relocatesafe.com and register right now. The link, of course, is down in the description below. Now, before we begin in the next segment, I, I do have to preface that I am not a medical doctor. You should not be getting any kind of medical advice from YouTube, but these latest events are, are very notable, especially when it comes to two sports celebrities that have been in the news lately and have gotten sick with the global sickness. There's the case of, of course, Oscar de la Hoya, who, of course, took two establishment approved procedures, was fully inoculated, did what Fauci wanted him to do, and he ended up in the hospital in what looks like a, a pretty serious situation. Compare that to, of course, Joe Rogan, who just tested negative for the sickness after, what was it, two to three days of him having symptoms? And now Joe Rogan says that he's doing great. As he also not only just posted a negative test, but how he's working out, shooting arrows, using kettlebells, all within just a few hours. Now, what did Joe Rogan do? Well, he had the best access to some of the most prominent health officials in the world. And one of the substances that they gave him, we cannot mention here on YouTube because... Previously, people who did had their videos literally taken down. So we're not going to mention this particular substance, but it's important to note that this substance was FDA approved. There was over 4 billion human beings who have gotten this substance worldwide by their medical professionals. The World Health Organization listed this substance as a, quote, essential medicine. And the doctors who invented this substance won the Nobel Peace Prize in Medicine in 2015. The mainstream media, for some reason, is saying that this substance is only a, a, a horse dewormer for some reason and nothing else. They're not just disingenuously just lying about this substance for some reason. They're also launching hit pieces that have been debunked, like we're seeing in Rolling Stone and MSNBC claiming that so many people are taking this horse substance to the point that people are overdosing on it and backing up a hospital in Oklahoma to the point where gunshot victims have to wait outside. Yes, this was literally the, the, the talking points all over social media, all over big tech algorithms, all over the mainstream media, all over the quote, authoritative, verified sources telling us that the situation is so desperate because of this substance, because of people t taking horse dewormer to the point where hospitals are being overrun with people poisoning themselves. And as we're finding out, surprise, surprise, 
All of that was based off nothing at all and literally made up out of thin air. The mainstream media knowingly ran with unverified fake news that now they're running retractions to. As it's coming out that the main source of this story hasn't worked at that location of that particular hospital for over two months. The hospital released a statement saying that they have not treated any patients due to complications related to this substance and that there was no case of anyone overdosing from this substance. The claim that people that were shot couldn't get medical attention was also disproven by this letter, as this letter by the hospital says that all patients who have visited our emergency room have received medical attention and that their staff hasn't turned anyone away. And just when you thought that the propaganda, the disinformation couldn't get more overboard, the fake news, the lying to the American people couldn't get more sensationalistic and hyperbolic here we are with Rachel Maddow taking the cake and shoving it down her gullet all by herself. Rolling Stone, of course, didn't do themselves any favors as well as they launched slanderous untrue attacks against Joe Rogan. And uh, it's pretty hilarious that Rolling Stone called someone a conspiracy theorist in a story that was literally completely fabricated. Oh, how ironic to say the least. Now we have to ask ourselves, what's going on here? Why is the mainstream media going out of its way, lying, deliberately fabricating stories that never happened in order to attack a man that literally got healthy within a few hours? Did he do exactly what Fauci wanted him to do? No, the people who are are having different results. And again, everyone has different results to different substances. It's also important to note here that Rolling Stone did issue an update, which uh, should have been a retraction, posting that their entire article was literally, literally fabricated and made up out of thin air. Now, now again, you have to ask yourself, this blatant lying, this, this blatant smear attacks, this kind of low IQ lashing out and attacking people who are getting healthier doesn't help anyone and for the people on the sidelines watching all of this this sends a very clear message not to trust the mainstream media not to trust the the alleged authorities here since they're finagling obfuscating the reality of the situation for some kind of greater agenda what's that agenda i don't claim to know it but this is not the first incident of the mainstream media with the quote experts lying blatantly disrespectfully to the american people when you keep lying repetitively to some people you learn not to trust them this is also the same mainstream media that says why don't these people trust us why don't these people trust the experts and gee i wonder why what do you think's going on here what do you think the agenda is let me know down in the comment section below if you thought i got something wrong or could have done something better let me also know in the comment section below if you didn't like this video click this like i wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys actively clicking the url just literally just just a couple seconds of your action copy double click that's 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 two clicks copy that's three clicks go into any messaging service scroll down for five clicks close your eyes six clicks random person click on that message paste seven eight clicks eight clicks few seconds means the world to me and keeping this independent media operation up and running and because you guys do that i am still somehow magically here i love you guys stay tuned for more here on wearechange.org.